Hello guys, Water here. How are you doing? Yes, okay, this is my cow slash sheep farm tutorial, and this is it. This is what you're see right here. I, um, like you can see it in two ways. You can see it in the like flush with the floor way, and that's the way you're gonna build it. Okay, that's the way it's meant to be. But I have it also like this vertically, so you can see it normal and see everything how it works from here. Okay. Now, if you see this and you says and you say like, no, I don't like this. Okay. Um, I have a other cow farm uh, right here that's really really compact and it, and it's even uh, more resource light than that one. Uh, and it's a 3x3 three three design, okay? You can see it right there, and I'm not going to show too much of it, because uh, the tutorial of that will come up next week. So, if it's already up when you see this tutorial right now, uh, check uh, the description box, and the link to the 3x3 three three cow farm will probably be there, okay? So, yeah, without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. Okay guys, and now for a quick explanation about how this farm works, okay? The essential of this farm is actually the trapdoors that you can see right there. Um, the reason why there is trapdoors all around, all like on this section right here, is because adult cows actually have uh, a big hitbox, okay? So whenever they're gonna be in this spot right here, they're gonna stay standing on this ledge that I'm standing on right now, okay? On this ledge, but they're not gonna stand like that's the only thing they're gonna stand on, and that's because they have a bigger hitbox than baby cows, okay? And that's very uh, important for this farm. So, as I said, baby cows have a smaller hitbox than adult cows. So, whenever we come here, hit the water, come breed the, all the, our cows and our sheep, um, what's gonna happen is actually the baby cows are going to fall right between this um, ledge right here, or not ledge, um, this spot right here. They're going to fall there, okay? So whenever we come and breed them, they're just going to fall down, straight down into this section right here that, as you can see, has signs on it, okay? Now, uh, the reason why there are signs there is because this dispenser that has lava on there is going to kill these babies. Not babies, adults, I should correct myself, but now they're still babies, so we do not want them to die, because if they will die, they will not drop anything, they will still, they will not drop anything, <laughs> they'll just die with no reason or cause, and that's, that's not good for our farm. So signs over here, they do two things, first of all, they let uh, our baby cows to be there, to just be there, <laughs> okay, but in the other hand side, the lava is going to dispense above and not fall down because the signs are blocking the lava from falling down, okay? Um, yeah, that's just a mechanic in the game. I'm I'm pretty sure most of you know about it. But yeah, so uh, signs can block water and lava from falling below them, okay? So the lava is just going to stay hovering above the head of these cows. I'm just going to show to it you real uh, quickly so yeah as you can see the lava dispenses and what happens is they don't burn because the lava is one block above them and it does not fall down as you can see the the lava is just barely touching their uh, head right there but whenever these cows will grow up and become adult cows like this over here their hitbox is gonna change and be a lot bigger okay so whenever they grow up um, whenever they grow up their hitbox is gonna get bigger and their head is gonna get stuck inside of the lava and what's gonna happen they're gonna burn and all of their drops are gonna fall right inside of this chest and you'll have all your wool uh, leather cooked mud and and cooked steak okay and yeah so this is how the farm works and that's it. I guess we should start on building. Okay, guys, so what you want to start doing is dig down inside of the ground uh, an uh, area of a 3x5 area. This blocks over here are just the redstone blocks, as you can see right here, that protrude one block uh, outside. Now, I do not um, tell you to dig that out because 
most of you are a lot smarter than me in redstone and they, you will probably find in a lot compactor way to activate this dispenser here the lava dispenser that we have here okay um, so yeah if you find any other way uh, tell me in the comment section and I will be really glad to uh, hear and know other ways but yeah if you want to use this redstone way you can just uh, dig these two extra box but for now you just want to dig a three by five area okay the next thing you want to do is gather up these resources right here two dispensers one chest uh, three hoppers three signs two uh, three wooden uh, trap doors two buttons one redstone torch and three pieces of redstone now slabs and glass are not mandatory you do not have to get them but slabs as you can see here is just for hiding this torch right here and the glass uh, I used it here uh, just so you can see but you're probably going to build it underground so you're not going to see any of this so you're not going to use glass here however I would recommend putting one piece of glass right here so whenever you stand here before the lava is actually dispensed dispenses you can see that all the babies are safe and sound down below in that section right there so yeah only I would use only one piece of glass for this um, uh, farm but like as you know it's you do not have to you can use whatever kind of block you want okay so you need two dispensers as I said and uh, okay and that's all you need and also you're gonna need a building block of some sort and yeah let's start on building now okay guys and the first thing you want to do after uh, you've dug all of this area out is imagine these blocks do not exist and take everything that I have here right now except for the diamond sword okay because that's just for me um, take your chest and put it right in the center of this area then take a hopper and put it facing in to that chest by pressing shift okay and then take another hopper uh, put it to face into this hopper and then go to the other side and do the same thing afterwards you're gonna put two blocks all around um, the hoppers right here of course you can uh, skip the ends right here if you want to the next thing you're gonna do is put a dispenser right here and finish the layer over there so this is what you're supposed to have right now the next thing you're gonna do is put signs all around here above one block above the hoppers okay so this is what you're supposed to have and yeah let's see the next part right now okay guys and for the next thing you're gonna want to do is put one more uh, layer right above here and then grab your three trap doors I have four here but that doesn't matter three trap doors and you're gonna uh, just place them like this and then open them so they're like like this <laughs> to the block okay so yeah as you can see this is what you're supposed to be to have right now afterwards you're gonna put uh, one more layer here skipping on this block and then putting a dispenser right here um, afterwards what you're gonna do uh, I grabbed uh, red clay just because so you can see the spot that you're gonna stand on when you're gonna breed the cows okay but you can use whatever you block you want of course and you're just gonna put uh, a layer right here I'm just gonna close this off because after all you're gonna stand there and you do not want to fall down and yeah this is what you're supposed to have the last thing you're gonna do is just put a block here of course um, uh, this can also be whatever block you want but I as I told you before prefer that this will be glass so I can see all of the baby cows falling down there so yeah I'm just gonna put red clay now but I would use glass normally okay uh, and that that's all the farm kind of the next thing uh, you gotta do is just grab uh, a lava bucket and a water bucket put the lava bucket on the bottom dispenser and the water bucket on the top dispenser the next thing you're gonna do is uh, grab any block you want and just block this area off okay so the lava and the water do not fall to this side and also so the cows cannot escape okay I'm just gonna do that really really quick and here and here and that's it we're done and this chest obviously uh, will probably not be here because afterwards you're gonna want to hook this up to some sort of a item elevator and get it up um, so it will be somewhat close to this area so after you breathe them you can just take all of the, uh, 
the mutton and the steak and everything and that's it just simpler not just go down every time and grab your um, stuff from down below just do a simple item elevator okay uh, the last thing you're gonna do is the redstone part and yeah that's gonna be the next session okay guys one thing I forgot to say is just to grab two buttons and put one on this side and the other on this side okay guys and for the last part the redstone now I don't know why but I'm I have like a bit of a issue here and I don't understand it at all so if you can help me with it in the comment section that would be really cool and helpful and helpful so um, the first thing you want to do is find the button that you have that does not have a dispenser directly below it okay and when you found it you'll put a redstone torch next to the button below it but next to it okay then you're gonna leave a gap of one block and put a block right here with that redstone piece on it okay now this is where the issue begins okay normally what I've done before is I've taken these blocks out and put and I put this just next to it wait now it seems to work okay so let's see so normally this is what I would do and then let's see no okay you see so it doesn't work now okay so now this doesn't work but when I go to this one that's exactly the same isn't it what's not the same in it okay so I think it's exactly the same and this block doesn't exist there does it no it does okay so it's exactly the same but when I press this button the lava does disappear okay so I don't know what's going on on there okay that's kind of weird but what I found that does work um, is if I take this one block further and put the redstone behind it like this okay and then when I press it it does work okay as you can see but if if that doesn't work for you too what will a hundred percent sure will work is just putting these two like this and put a normal repeater uh, right here on no ticks at all and this will guarantee um, always work because it's kind of basic in redstone but yeah that will always work I just wanted to find a way that I do not need to use a repeater and save resources and again if you know what's the issue here and why this does work here but this in the like the same redstone pattern does not work here um, leave a comment that will help me a lot and yeah that would be really nice from uh, of you so okay so you put that and you leave a gap put a redstone above it and if you don't want to use any repeater you're gonna put uh, another block here another and a red, another redstone piece on it here here and behind it okay and just press the button check it works if it doesn't work you can try this one that if that doesn't work this probably will work uh, and if none of those work as you can see as I showed you before just use this repeater right here and that will guarantee work okay and for the last part that you do not have to do um, I just like to do it to hide this torch over here you can just slab all around this part right here <laughs> okay um, and I'm pretty sure that's done all you need to do now is put your cows in one spot and the sheep in the other spot and there's a um, one great day uh, great day <laughs> great way to do this and that's just like um, breaking these blocks let's say and creating a path let's yeah, I'm just showing this really quickly um, a path like this um, with water let's take water no that's lava um, with water uh, down there and we'll close this part too and this too and just take your cows um let's find the cows 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 good cows okay uh take your cows um lead them into this 
water stream by any way you want a wheat a lead whatever you want and just let them drop wait to them to fall they're gonna fall and yeah afterwards um, take your water back and break all of this nonsense over here and this didn't work from beginning okay um, just break all of this um, return your slabs to their normal place and yeah and as you can see they're all here in one spot and that took me no time at all and obviously you can put as many cows you want but just remember there is lag issues with too much cows okay guys so this was me and I hope you were enjoying this tutorial and again if you know how to fix this redstone uh, problem that I have here please leave a comment that would be um, greatly appreciated and if you want to see the more compact cow farm as I said in the beginning um, it's gonna go out next week so sub subscribe if you like it uh, like if you liked it and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye guys